using power theory to solve thing, homogeneous differential equation, x y y equal prime plus x y prime plus x y minus four over nine times y is equal to zero. So, and you are given x equals zero is a regular singular point. So our solution is given in this form: y equals power series from zero to infinity c n x to the n plus r. Let the first derivative give me power series from zero to infinity c n n plus r x to the n plus r minus one. Let the second derivative give me power series from zero to infinity c n n plus r n plus r minus one times x to the n plus r minus two. Okay. Now I'm going to plug these into the differential equation, but before I do that, I'm going to distribute this out. Okay. So I have x squared y double prime plus x y prime plus x squared y minus four over nine y is equal to zero, right? Now I'm going to look this into this one. So I'm going to have power series from zero to infinity c n n plus r n plus r minus one x to the n plus r. So you have x squared times x to the n plus r minus two. So two minus two is zero, okay? Plus power series from zero to infinity c n n plus r x to the n plus r, okay? So you have x times x to the n plus r minus one, so y minus one is zero. Plus power series from zero to infinity, c n x to the n plus r plus two. Again, you have x squared times x to the n plus two, x to the n plus r, sorry. Minus power series from zero to infinity, four over nine, c n x to the n plus r equals zero, okay? Now what we are going to do next is, is to take a look at take a look at a, a exponent. So n equals zero, I have x to the x to the r, n equals zero, x to the r, n equals zero, x to the r plus u, n equals zero, x to the r. So I have to run out times for these two, these three power series week until I reach x to the r plus u. Okay. So for the first one, plug in zero, I have c naught r times r minus one x to the r. Okay. Plus c one r plus one times r x to the n plus r plus Power series from 2 to infinity, c n n plus r, n plus r minus 1 times x to the n plus r. Okay? Now let me go a line to separate these steps. Okay? Now, for the second one, so right now comes, so n equals 0 has c naught, r, x to the r, plus c1, r plus 1, x to the n, oh, this is 1. Okay? Plus power series from two to infinity c n n plus r x to the n plus r for this one since it's uh, since it's already x to the r plus two so I'm gonna rewrite it but uh, if you take a step further we have n equal to n equal to and if I run out of so this one is gonna be n it's n is gonna stop at two so it makes sense to rewrite this to two now to save time so I'm gonna have power series from 2 to infinity, so that 2 I have subtract 2 inside, so I have ac n minus 2, x to the n plus r, okay? And for the last one, run out terms, so I have negative c, negative 4 over 9 c naught, x to the r, plus or minus 4 over 9 c1 x to the r plus 1, plus the power series from 2 to infinity, 4 over 9 is just minus C n x to the n plus r is equal to zero. Okay. Now we are going. What we are going to do next is to combine items. So watch. So this is my leading coefficient for x to the r, and I have c not in common. So factor it out. Oops. Then I have r squared minus r. Plus r, which is zero minus four over nine times x to the r. Okay. For this, for now, for this one, the second one. That's c one, c one, and c one. So factor it out, and of course, there x to the r plus one in common. So I put it at the end. Plus c one. And in front of these, I have r squared plus r. Plus r, which is 2r, 1 minus 4 over 9, which gives me 9 minus 4 is 5, negative 5 over 9, x to the r plus 1, plus power series from 2 to infinity. Okay, now take a look at this. So I have c in, c in, c in, and common factor of how. Okay, now what I have in front of c is, oh, I also have this in common, okay, in plus r, so in plus r factor of how. And what I have left is n plus r 
minus one, plus one, which is zero. And then for this one, they have negative four over nine. Let's read this is a big parentheses. Okay, minus four over nine. And then plus C and minus two. C equals, oops. That was actually N plus R is equal to zero, right? So it's a, so it's a little bit confusing right here, but it saves our time a lot, okay? So if you cannot do this, you just work it out and then do step by step. But if you can do this, it helps you a lot, right? Now we are going to equate coefficient. So I have C naught cross square minus 4 over 9 is equal to 0. Uh, let me draw a lot of separate three steps here. C1 cross square plus 2R minus 5 over 9 equals 0. And this one, C in N plus R squared, right? We have, we have N plus R, N plus R squared minus 4 over 9 plus C in minus 2 is equal to 0, right? So this is my, oh sorry, so this is my system of equations. Now for this one, solve for r, which gives me plus and minus two third. Okay. So you solve for this one, so I'm gonna have r squared equal four over nine. Take the square root both sides. Don't forget the plus and minus sign. Okay. So I'm gonna have this. And I didn't solve for c naught because if you solve for c naught, then uh, if you remember our final solution is c y equals c naught times something. And since c naught is zero, so then y is just zero, so it helps us. So solve for r. So for the first case, when r equal two third. Okay, so when r equals two thirds, let me hit this one. I have c one times two thirds squared, which is four nine plus four over three minus five over nine is equal to zero. Then c one is zero. So I, I don't have to solve. I have to calculate this out because I know that this is non-zero, and c one times non-zero equals zero, so c one must be zero. Okay, let me do this one. I have c in times in plus two thirds squared. Minus 4 over 9 plus C in minus 2 is equal to 0. Now solve for C in, solve for bigger C which is C in. So I have C in equals negative C in minus 2 over in plus 2 third squared minus 4 over 9. Let me see this. So I get rid of, so I get rid of the fraction here, so I multiply the bottom by 9. And then I have negative 9 C in minus 2 over so 9. Multiply to this one. So, so I have my square times this square. So, put in the big square, so I have 3, 3 in plus 2 squared minus 4. And then starting from, from, let's see, from 2 to 3. Okay. And let me do it over here. When n equal 2, plug it 2 into this one. So I have C2 equals negative 9 C0 over 2 times 3, 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, he squared 64 minus 460. Same like this, I have negative 3 C0 over 20. When n equals 3, plug in 3, I have C3 equals negative 9 C1 over, I don't care what is on, what on the bottom is because C1 is 0, so this is just 0. n equals 4, I have C4 equals negative 9 C2 over 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 squared, 169 minus 4, 1. I say 14 squared is 196, minus 4 is 192. So simplify this a little bit, and we know C2 is negative 3, C0 so over 20. So simplify this, I'm going to have negative 3 over 64 times negative 3, C0 over 20. And simplify this a little bit more, I have 9, C0 over 1, 2, 80. Okay? And when n equals 5, I'm gonna do one more, but uh, if you don't see the pattern, I'm gonna do it here. So C half C5 equals negative C3 over, so C3 is 0, so it's 0. Alright, so you have 0, number, 0, number, 0, number, 0. Alright, so I'm write my solutions. My solution here is I have 1, 1 equals x to the R, C0 plus C1, x plus C2, x squared plus that, that, that. What is x, x? What is R, R is 2 third. Okay, so we have the case when R equals 2 third. C0, we don't know to write it, what is C1? C1 is 0. Right here, C2, I have negative 3, C0 over 20, x squared. Let's see, 3, 0, C4, 9, C0, over 1, 2, 80, x to the 4, so dot, dot, dot. Now, if I have C0, then I have 1 minus 3 over 20, x squared, plus 9 over 1, 2, 80, x to the 4, so dot, 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 right? Now, we are going to do the same thing for the case r equals negative 2 thirds, okay? So, r equals negative 2 thirds, plug in negative 2 thirds into this one, so C1, and negative 2 thirds square, which is 
Four nine. Minus four over three, minus five over nine is equal to zero. Again, I don't need to I don't need to calculate this out because this is is non zero times not times something equals zero sixty one must be zero. Okay. Now I've already made two thirds of this one, so I have C in R minus two thirds squared minus four over nine plus C in up C in minus two is equal to zero, right? So solve for the biggest C, which is C in. I have negative C in minus 2 over. Oh, this is this is actually in. Okay. In minus 2 thirds squared minus 4 over 9. Okay. Now I'm, again, I'm going right, to get rid of the fraction, so multiply top and bottom by 9. So I have negative 9 in minus C in minus 2 over. So 9 squared times this, so 3 in minus 2 squared minus 4. And in is starting from. From 2 to infinity. Okay. So we have 2 to infinity. Now when n equals 2, n equals 2, but until we have c2 equals negative 9c naught over 6, 6 minus 2 is 4, 4, 16, negative 12. Then I have 3c naught over 4. The positive. Okay. So 3 times 6 minus 2 is 4, 16 minus 4 is 12. n equals 3, so we have c3 equals. Negative nine C one over okay what's on bottom is because C one zero. Okay? And equals four, so C four is negative nine C two over four times three is twelve, twelve minus two is ten, ten to hundred and ninety six. So simplify this a little bit. I have negative three over thirty two. Times C two, C two is negative three C naught over four. So multiply this out I have nine C naught over four twelve one two eight. Now do one more. I'm gonna do one more but uh, if you don't see it, so C5 equals negative 9C3 over something equals 0 because C3 is 0, okay? So again, it's number 0, number 0, number 0. So my Y2 is equal to X to the R, C0, plus C1, X plus C2, X squared, plus I dot. X to the R, R is negative 2 third, C0. We don't know what C1, C1 is 0, but C2, C2 is negative 3, C0 over 4, squared, C3 is 0, C4, 9, C0 over 1, 20, X to 4, plus I dot. Now back to C0. So I have 1 minus 3 fourth x squared plus 9 over 1 plus 3 x to the fourth plus after that. Alright, and our final solution is equal to y1 plus y2. And keep in mind that, so this is my y1 and this is my y2. So I have c not for y1 and c not for y2, so these c are all the same. So for the first one, I, I'm going to rewrite it. So I have c not x to the two third, 1 minus 3 20 x squared plus 9 over 1 2 80 x to the fourth plus after that. Plus, so for this one, we call it C1. So I have x to the negative 2 third, 1 minus 3 4 x squared, plus 9 over 1, 20 x to the 4 plus that. Okay, so this is your final solution eventually. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.